you see, I've just been trying to get rid of this mosquito that's been bugging me constantly. I've tried all of the mosquito repellents that are supposed to work, well, they didn't work. And I even tried killing the darn thing myself, and I couldn't do it. I, I can't kill bugs, I'm no exterminator. Let's face it guys, we've been bitten by the Animal Crossing mosquito. We have two more months until Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out, and we need Animal Crossing. Like, we need it now, not two months from now. We need it now, we gotta play this game. But sadly, we can't, and we're just itching for Animal Crossing right now. Thankfully, in this video, I have a list of things that will satisfy that Animal Crossing itch. So, let's get into this list. The first thing on this list is really necessary if you want to make the wait less painful. Um, it's simply just going back and playing one of your favorite Animal Crossing games. Right now, I'm currently replaying Animal Crossing on the GameCube, and I gotta say, it's just a joy to come back to. I made a new town, and I'm making lots of progress. Man, it's just, there's something about replaying your favorite Animal Crossing game that's special. I have a lot of memories with that game, and good nostalgia that comes along with it. So replaying it's gonna last me at least until New Horizons comes out. Now you're probably thinking, aw, oh, come on, I've, I've tried, I just can't play any of my old Animal Crossing games, I'm so burnt out on these games. Well, you know, that's completely normal, we've been playing these games for a long time now, but it, it's worth a shot to try, and there are things you can do to make the game less stale, like playing with some friends, start replaying the game just with some friends on the phone. For an example, I'm playing through uh, Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Sometimes me and Coleman will just start a new progress over the phone and stuff. And it just it makes it more of a refreshing experience. You can also come up with creative challenges that'll make the game less stale. Me and Coleman did the 99,000 bell challenge not too long ago. And it was a race to see who could get 99,000 bells the fastest. This made the game a bit more refreshing and it kind of made the possibilities for Animal Crossing on the GameCube a, a bit more higher. Let's say you're burnt out 100% on one of your favorite Animal Crossing games. Well to that I would just suggest to watch some Let's Plays. It's really interesting to see how people play differently than you. When it comes to Let's Players, personally I would suggest JVGS Jeff because he plays through just about every Animal Crossing game. So, if you're not a big Animal Crossing GameCube fanatic like I am, you can watch his City Folk videos or his Wild World videos. Anyways, the point is, is that sometimes you just need a break from playing the game, so watching someone play the game is another way to scratch that itch. A couple days ago, I was looking at old photos and videos of one of my very first Animal Crossing towns, and it just made me really nostalgic and happy to see how far I've come as an Animal Crossing player. It made me feel like that I don't really need a new game right now, I'm pretty happy with the ones I have. I don't know why I got that feeling while looking back at an old town, but you know, I just I highly suggest going back and just looking at some of your old towns. It's really interesting to see how you've changed as an Animal Crossing player. With the New Horizons gameplay footage, I feel like you could gather lots of thoughts and speculations. And a lot of people share these thoughts and speculations, but I know there's way more out there. So I highly encourage you to share these thoughts. Because, I mean, simply talking about New Horizons just kind of scratches your itch for Animal Crossing. And the Animal Crossing community is really kind, so I highly suggest you do that. The last thing on this list is really simple and, well, all it is is just ordering New Horizons. Like, once you pre-order that thing, you've got the satisfaction of knowing it's going to come to your house on release day and you can play it all night. Now, there's not a lot of things that can beat that feeling. And now that I think about it, pre-ordering New Horizons is probably just the repellent to this mosquito. Just knowing that you're going to have the game soon is really something. All of this other stuff is just stuff you can do in the middle. Personally, I haven't pre-ordered New Horizons because I want to go to Walmart around release day and pick it up then. That's what I did with New Leaf. 
and there's just there's something about doing that that I just like anyways everyone I know this list wasn't very lengthy but come on it's only two months we'll make it anyways thanks for watching I really appreciate it squeeze that subscribe button and I'll see y'all later